So in this video, we are going to talk about the remaining part of the year. In last video, we have seen the detailed structure of external year, middle year, internal year, right? Now in this video, we are going to talk about the structure of vestibule. As we have earlier said that in uh, vestibule, there is a presence of at utricule, saccule, then your cochlea, right? And there is a presence of some sensory spot that is the macula and cristae. Now, how, uh, what is the st uh, structure of your macula and cristae we are going to deal with uh, in this video. So, we will start with the vestibular structure. As we have said that there is a presence of utricule and saccule. So, this structure is your utricule which is bit larger than your saccule and this is your saccule, right. Now, there is a presence of three semicircular canals and as we have mentioned that this utricule is connected to the semicircular canals. There are three semicircular canals which lie suspended perpendicular to one another, right. So, and the bases of which are solen and these solen bases are called as ampulla and we shows presence of sensory spots that is cristae. That is why this sensory structure present in ampulla is called as crista ampullaris. Well, take Now, this structure which arises from a common duct that is endolymphatic duct. And this structure is called as endolymphatic sac. Now, this is atricule, this is saccule. As we have already mentioned, that saccule is connected to the uh, coil structure of internal ear, that is your cochlea. Now, cochlea, cochlea is a 2, 3, 4th coiled structure. What does that mean? Which it completes, it is a 2 rounds, but third round is. Uh, incomplete that is 3 fourth of last third round is completed that is why this is 3 fourth uh, 2 3 fourth coil structure. Well, now this cochlea this is your cochlea this cochlea is made up of this is cochlear duct and these are cochlear canals cochlear canals. Now, cochlear duct and cochlear canals this the, these two constitutes your cochlea well now uh, in this structure, uh, crystal are present in this your uh, ampulla region of your semicircular canals and in saccule and atricule, we have said that there is a presence of macula. Means, atricule has one macula and the saccule has one macula, means both these have one macula, right and these are again sensory structures. Me hair cells are associated with this macula and crista, uh, crista ampullaris. Well, so, we will see how the structure of macula is made. Macula are somewhat like this that is cup like, st uh, like structures, these are cup like structures which rest on basement membrane and from where there arises neurons that is nerve fibers and which gets associated with the area responsible for hearing. Well, these cells are supported by some columnar cells pillar like cells. Right. Now, about this cup like, stru cup -like structures that is uh, this, stru this is the structure of your macula. These are cup, uh, cup shaped uh, cells which are supported by sub columnar or some pillar like cells in between and the end of which gives rise to neurons which are connected to one another to form nerve fiber which is associated with the uh, area responsible for hearing. Now, about this, there is a presence of again some short structures and these short structures are nothing but your stereocilia. These structures are called as stereocilia. These are sensory structures present, right. Now, about this, there is a presence of 
जिलेटिनस कैप्सूल जिलेटिनस कैप्सूल विच इज सेमी फ्लूड मटेरियल राइट एंड अब विच देर इज अ प्रेजेंस ऑफ सम कैलकेरियस स्ट्रक्चर कैलकेरियस स्ट्रक्चर एंड विच इज कॉल्ड एज ओटोलिथ विच इज मेड अप ऑफ कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट मीन्स वंस अगेन वी विल लुक इन टू दिस दीज आर द कप लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स दैट इज मैक्यूलर स्ट्रक्चर्स विच रेस्ट ऑन बेसमेंट मेम्ब्रेन एंड फ्रॉम द बेस ऑफ दिस कप लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स अराइजेस वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ न्यूरोन्स देन इट इट हैज सम स्टूरियोसिलिया प्रेजेंट ऑन द अपर सर्फेस ऑफ दिस कप लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड विच Uh, in which there is a presence of some gelatinous fluid and this entire structure is called a gelatinous capsule above which there is a present of some calcareous calcareous structure which is termed as otolith and which is made up of calcium carbonate so this is the structure of your macula right now the structure of crystae or crista now some differences are there in the structure of macula and crista this cells are located somewhat like this again these are pillar like cells which shows presence of hair cells that is stereocilia but the difference in between stereocilia of macula and crista is stereocilia in case of crista are bit longer in comparison to macula now these are stereocilia right well again these are supported by pillar like cells and ends of which give rise to sorry ends of which give rise to again neurons which converts into nerve fiber now difference in between macula and crista is that again this is also covered with gelatinous fluid or gelatinous capsule is there this is gelatinous capsule but there is a absence of otolith organ that means no otolith organ is present in case of your crista and this crista are associated with semi circular canals and macula uh, are uh, associated with sacule and utricule now this macula macula performs the function of maintaining static equilibrium and this crista maintains the function of dynamic equilibrium so this is the structure of your macula and crista which are the sensory structure or Uh, sensory structures present in your vestibule right and as we know vestibular apparatus which is made up of semi circular canals sacule atricule and which is responsible for maintaining equilibrium two types of equilibrium are there static equilibrium and dynamic equilibrium now we will see the mechanism of action of hearing Mecha i mean mechanism of hearing right so the sound waves are collected this is your sound waves now it is connected through it is ear canal now this is ear drum as the sound waves strike on the ear drum it vibrates now this is your middle ear here there is a presence of ear ossicles now these sound vibrations are intensified with the help of this Uh, ear ossicles now frequency of this sound wave remains same just its a intensity is increased right there is a, a difference in intensity and frequency frequency cannot be changed in this case but it is intensified with the help of this ear ossicles present now these ear ossicles are attached to old window now this is your old window this was vestibule this is round window and this is structure of your internal that is cochlea this structure of cochlea so this was scala vestibuli scala media and scala tympani 
here it was perilymph again this was perilymph endolymph was present or is present in scleramidia now sound waves are collected by pinna now these are transmitted to eardrum eardrum which is stretch connective tissue which vibrates these vibrations with the help of this ear ossicles malleus incus and stapes this intensifies the sound waves the, these vibrations are again sent to your oval window that is finestra ovalis right and now these vibrations once it comes to your perilymph it is vibrated that is perilymph is vibrated this perilymph is vibrated and it sends its a vibration to scala media now one structure we forgot to mention here that is these are your two membranes this was basilar membrane now we will see the structure of number 1 macula now the macula macula this cells of this macula are somewhat cup shaped these are cup shaped cells right and this is basement membrane and this cup shaped cells are with some sensory structures that is hair cells and which are called as stereocilia which are in fact these are short structures it is your stereocilia these are cup like cells now these are supported the cells are supported with the help of non sensory cells termed as supporting cells right now from the end of this cells cup shaped structures of macula there arises different neurons and which are connected to one another and which leads to formation of nerve fiber above this or in between this above and in between this stereocilia there is presence of gelatinous fluid and this is called a gelatinous capsule right above gelatinous capsule there is presence of some calcareous structure and this calcareous structure is called as otolith which is also termed as otolith organ and this is made up of calcium carbonate right so this is the structure of your macula well now we will see the structure of second your crystal now in structure there are some uh, differences in between macula and crystal that is stereocilia in cases of macula are shorter and stereocilia in cases of uh, your crystal are bit longer right and the arrangement of this cell is again different suppose this is base on which these cells are going to rest so these are these are not exactly cup like but these are pillar like cells present <coughs> again these are supported by the supporting cells which are again non sensory these are stereocilia which are bit longer than that of stereocilia of macula well from from the end of these cells also there arises neurons and which form nerve fiber well so these are the structures of now again there is a presence of this gelatinous capsule filled with gelat gelatinous fluid this is gelatinous fluid but again there is a absence of one structure that is present in macula and the structure was otolith otolith is absent in case of otolith is absent in case of crystal right now 
these are basic differences and these are the structures of macula and cristae. Now, as we know the functions already we have said that the macula uh, uh, is responsible for maintaining static equilibrium or static balance and cristae are responsible for maintaining dynamic balance or dynamic equilibrium. Well, so these are the structures associated now cristae, cristae are associated with semi circular canal and this macula macula uh, is present in, in saccule and utricule. Well, there is a presence of one macula in saccule and one uh, macula in utricule and number of cristae are 3 as there are uh, there is a presence of 3 semicircular canals right. Okay. Now, we will see the actual mechanism of hearing in the internal structure when we uh, in the last video we saw the tears of cochlea there was presence of two membranes again we will draw it this is the old window this is round window it is perilymph fluid perilymph filled structure that is your scala vestibuli, scala media and this is scala tympani. In the last video we had seen that perilymph filled this two structure again this is perilymph filled these are interconnected through some canal that is heli helicotrema and now this is bacillar membrane and it is your Risner's membrane. Now, on the bacillar membrane, there is a presence of some column like cells, and these cells constitute and the structure constitute some structure, and that is called as organ of corti. Now, this organ of corti again it has some hair cells, sensory structures, and above which there is a presence of again some gelatinous structure and that is called as tectorial membrane right. Now, this is the complete structure of your uh, TS of cochlea. Now, this is perilymph, perilymph is uh, present here also, this is filled with endolymph. Now, this is oval window that is uh, finista olis vibrations, vibrations I will write it here that is pina from pina vibrations are collected these are sent to we are dealing with mechanism of hearing mechanism of hearing. So, in mechanism of hearing first of all pina collects sound waves from the external environment these are sent through your canal to tympanum that is tympanic membrane. Now, tympanum membrane vibrates, vibrations are accepted by your ossicles that is uh, malleus incus and stapes. Now, these vibrations are sent to your oval window. Now, through oval window this perilymph in the scala vestibuli is vibrated. Now, vibrations next step uh, we will write vibrations in perilymph of scala vestibuli then these vibrations are spread or transmitted to scala media that is endolymph of scala media now again these are sent to bacillar membrane bacillar membrane vibrates then hair cells stimulated it generates impulse that is impulse generation one thing hair cells are stimulated and these are pressed against tectorial membrane now as the tectorial um, this hair cells uh, press against tectorial membrane impulse is generated this impulse is sent to nerve fibers 
nerve fibers and this impulse is carried to the area responsible for hearing we are saying that is temporal region of the bone and we pursue that sound hearing take place. This is how mechanism of hearing take place right. We will uh, once again repeat the mechanism of hearing that is pina collects sound waves. Now, these are uh, sent through ear canal to tympanum it vibrates ear, ear ossicles intensifies these vibrations. Now, frequency of that sound wave is not changed right only it intensification intense uh, of this sound waves take place with the help of this ear ossicles. Now, ear ossicles open into the oval window through oval window these vibrations are sent to scala vestibuli perilymph vibrates these vibrations are again forwarded to scala media. Now, basilar membrane vibrates hair cells present on basal organ of corti these are pressed against tectorial membrane this impulse is generated through nerve fibers that is your auditory nerve this is sent to temporal region and the uh, that sound is pursued depending on the memories or whether uh, uh, it would be your new sound right. This is how the mechanism of hearing takes place hope that you have understood whatever is covered in this video if you like this video please subscribe so that subscribe to this channel so that you would receive upcoming videos on important topics uh, from Nate right thank you very much.